Hi everyone, this is Josie from First the Coffee Crochet. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to make a quick and easy crochet dishcloth that uses a nice textured stitch. Basically, this is the grit stitch, and all you need to know on how to make this is the single crochet stitch and a chain. The finished size of this dishcloth is seven and a half inches wide by seven and a half inches tall. And as always, there is a written version of this pattern available on my website, and I will leave the link for that down in the description below. To make this dishcloth, you're going to need about 61 yards of a cotton yarn and a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle to weave in your ends. I'm going to be using some of the Lily's Sugar and the Cream Stripes yarn, but you can use any cotton medium worsted weight yarn that you would like. To start out for your foundation chain, you'll want to make a chain of an even number. We're going to start with a chain of 30. Once you've completed your foundation chain for row one, we're just going to be doing a single crochet all the way across for our base row. We'll be starting in the second chain from the hook. Now, I like to work in the back bump, but if you don't prefer to do that, you don't have to. To do a single crochet, you'll just insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And once you're at the end of this row, you should have 29 stitches. After you've completed row one, you can go ahead and turn your work. And this is where we start into the one row repeat for the majority of this dishcloth. So for rows 2 through 28, what you'll do is chain one at the start of the row. This does not count as a stitch. We'll be starting in this first stitch here, and you'll do two single crochets in this first stitch. Then you're going to skip a stitch and then do two single crochets in the next. Skip the next stitch, and then in the following, do another two single crochets. And that's what you're going to do all the way across until you get to the last stitch of this row. So just skip one, two single crochets. Skip one, two single crochets. So when you're at the end of the row, on this last stitch, you've done two single crochets here, you're going to skip one stitch, and then in this last one, you're just going to do one single crochet. Then you'll turn your work, chain one, and start all over again, doing two single crochets in this first stitch, skip one, two single crochets, skip one, two single crochets. All the way across the row, and then in the last stitch of the row, do one single crochet. And you're going to repeat this all the way up through row 28. Okay, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the last row of the dishcloth. Once you've done the grit stitch all the way up through row 28, on row 29, you'll just turn your work, you'll chain one, and again, this won't count as a stitch. So you'll be starting in this first stitch, and you're just going to do a single crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. And then once you're done with row 29, you can go ahead and fasten off and weave in all your ends, and enjoy your new dishcloth. 